Alright everybody, welcome back to another beginner electronics video. I'm making another oscillator. Uh, this time I'm going to be using a 555 timer integrated chip over here. That's going to kind of be the main driving force. It's relatively simple and just a quick demonstration of what this is going to look like. I'm going to plug in my battery. We already got an oscillation here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next, we're going to put this thing together together. Alright, so as always, we're just going to go over our materials list. We got a breadboard here. Got a 9-volt battery. Got some jumper wires. Got even tinier jumper wires. Got our 555 timer. We have a 1K resistor. We have a 10 microfarad capacitor. We have a 10K potentiometer. And we have a little speaker here. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the 555 timer. We're gonna stick it in the center of our breadboard. And we're gonna do it in such a way that the little divot in between separates the the pins on each side and I have there's a little notch or a little circle at the top of the 555 timer and that's kind of how you're able to orient what number the pins are and this is kind of what the uh, the pin the, uh, the pin outs look like on the 555 timer so we got number one is ground trigger output and reset and we got a voltage control discharge threshold and central voltage. You can kind of see that the numbering goes one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight going up. So the first things we're gonna do, uh, we're going to have the number one pin connected to ground. We're going to have the reset pin number four. That's gonna go to the positive voltage. And we're gonna have our number eight pin over here also connect to the positive rail. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jump the number six to number two that's connecting the threshold and the trigger pins. And this is kind of what triggers the oscillation because uh, it's gonna be connected to a capacitor. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add the capacitor. We're gonna have the positive leg connected to where it's jumping from six to two, and that's gonna be connected to ground. Next thing, we're gonna take our 1K resistor. We're gonna connect that one to the number seven pin over here. The resistor is gonna be going to the positive rail over here. The next thing we're gonna do is connect our uh, potentiometer over here. I'm just gonna use these jumper wires. You can use a resistor as well. It just won't be as variable. Uh, these connections are gonna go to six and seven. And my potentiometer over here, I'm just gonna connect the middle pin and the outside right pin. So on this potentiometer, I got three legs. So I'm just doing the middle and the right. And the next thing, I'm just going to go ahead and connect my rails on the outside, just so that that is done. Alright, and the last things we're going to do uh, for this is just plug up the speaker. So we're going to have the, uh, the red, the positive, leg of the speaker, go to the number three pin, or the output of the 555 timer, and the black lead is just gonna go to ground. And that's pretty much it. And once we plug in our handy dandy nine volt battery, we should get a little oscillation. And with the uh, potentiometer, we can kind of control how much voltage or how much resistance there is. So this is with the most resistance. Turn it 
up or turn down the resistance. You can hear it speed up. And that's pretty much it. And the formula is the combination of resistance and capacitance is what can kind of determine the, uh, the frequency of oscillation. There is some equation um, to actually calculate that in Hertz. Um, I'll try to get that up on the screen hopefully, but that's pretty much it. Uh, something that is weird, I'm not sure if it's the, just the speaker or the oscillation in general, but when I turn uh, or turn down the resistance on the potentiometer all the way, and I'll demonstrate this right now. So we got, it's pretty stable. Once we reach a certain point, the tone gets really weird. Here now the whole thing is kind of vibrating in a weird harmonic, and then when I go past it, it reaches this point, this squealy tone pitch. I don't know if, if anybody has any suggestions about this, uh, please let me know. And thank you for watching.